It's what you do. For today's video, I am going to be creating squishy families again. They're gonna be a family. <laughs> I had a great time doing squishy families the first time, and I think this is just this is just something I really want to do. I'm like, yes, babies, infants, tiny, little, mini squishies. Let's get started. <laughs> okay, so for our first mini squishy, I've got this polar bear and orange combo. Something weird is happening with his tongue. I don't know why he has two of them. The first thing we're doing is using the scissor to just cut off any of the excess pieces that are sticking out of this squishy. Then we're taking out our sandpaper to apparently aggressively attack our polar bear. I'm also doing the same thing to our tiny orange. You'll notice the orange is going to go on top of Bill's head. Yes, I've already named this mini squishy Bill because it just felt right. I don't know why I did this though. In order to stick our tiny orange onto the top of our polar bear's head, we do need some tacky glue or fabric glue. I took out my ponytail holder. I ran out of rubber bands. Anyway, my hair elastic got some dirt on the polar bear and made him look like he smells a bit wild. <laughs> smells wild in here. Today's video is sponsored by Wild Deodorant. Deodorant is something that we all use, hopefully. And it's always cool to use one that has no aluminum, parabens, or sulfates. Wild deodorant is perfect for travel because it comes in mini sizes. <gasps> mini. My favorite core scents are fresh cotton and sea salt and burnt marshmallows. You cannot smell it through the screen, but I promise you it smells delicious. Wild is a UK based company, but the shipping is worldwide. Use the code Bellamina to get 20% off your order. Thank you so much to Wild for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to what we were doing. To make sure both the orange and the polar bear are stuck together, I used some slick paint to fill in the holes that were around this thing. Perfect. And now we're finally ready for our white base coat. I managed to squirt the paint directly on my finger. This is why you use a paint palette, but I don't, cause I'm insane. She's crazy. And now I will start giving obvious hints for who the parent is so that you guys have a chance to guess. The way I paint this, I think is gonna be a dead giveaway for who this panda bear is the child of. Yes, I did just say panda bear. I have only ever painted one panda squishy before, so there's only one option for who this could be the child of. This squishy is not the same color as his father's fur, but he is the same color as his father's cupcake. If you know the squishy I'm talking about, then you probably know what I mean by that. On top of the panda bear's head, there is an orange. There was a lot of different options for this orange. I could paint it a cherry, an apple, an orange, a grape. I could go on, but I decided to make it a blueberry. Blueberries are actually an indigo kind of color. They're kind of a mix between purple and blue. So I am leaning more into the purple side of it because I wanted it to match the father. Bill also has some hearts on the bottom of his paws, just like his father. After the paws were done, it was time for multiple random tiny details on this mini squishy. I added the whites of the eyes and let that dry. I also added a purple tongue because I thought that was cute and then added some drips for the grape. I love highlights. I often put way too many on and get a lot of complaints saying that I should hold back on the highlights, but honestly, I can't stop myself. I love them. And here we have the before and the after for Bill the Blueberry Bear. I will admit that Bill the Blueberry Bear does not flow as well as Paul the Purple Panda. It really just rolls off the tongue, that one. But I do really enjoy how these two look together. I love that Paul's eyes are the same color as Bill's fur and that they're looking at each other. They look cute together and they have what I would call old man names, Paul and Bill. It's fun. For our next mini squishy makeover, we're going to give this bunny rabbit a makeover. And I wanna give a little bit of a disclaimer here because I think this is the most abominable squishy makeover I have done so far. It turns out just a little bit odd. So just, just keep that in mind. I started off this makeover like any other makeover. I prepped the surface with some slick paint just to make sure everything was smooth. 
I took out some soft matte white paint to give it a nice white base coat. And by the time I was done, I was like, ooh, yes. We're ready to start painting it. I was thinking, let me paint it a donut color. We could make it like a donut squishy and maybe add some icing. And then things went awry. I came back the next day and had a totally new idea. I was like, you know what? This kind of looks like a cheetah. Why don't we give this squishy some cheetah print? No. After I had painted the cheetah print, I experienced immediate regret. She kind of looks like she has cheetah print, but she also kind of looks like she has sores all over her body. Because this bunny is pretending to be a cheetah, she is growling or roaring with her mouth open, and I've given her some teeth. I made this child look rabid because I was trying to make it look like it had the exact opposite temperament to her parent. This mini Squishy's parent is a bunny, but she has a very docile temperament and is just very happy to sit and eat her donut. Here we have the before and the after for Bonita. <laughs> Our cheetah print bunny. Bonita looks like she is going to absolutely lose it on you in any second. And that is exactly how her mother, Bonnie, feels about the situation. Bonnie is a very docile bunny. She really enjoys just sitting nicely and eating her donut. But her daughter, Bonita, is often throwing a fit. Bonnie tries to calm her down and then eventually runs away because she is terrified of her own daughter. It's a really loving dynamic they have. For the next mini squishy, I'm taking out this keychain. It's a unicorn and it kind of looks like it was just split right in the center. You can see the seam line and the keychain came out so easily. You could never have used this. I'm sanding down this squishy to start off with and then trimming off the excess pieces. I think I sanded it a little too much because it was really rough and I had to cover up a lot of stuff with slick paint. After that, I dipped into some soft matte white paint and created a base coat. I also mixed together this teal color and this will be the main color for this parent. Instead of creating a child, as I have done for every other squishy family makeover, I decided this time I was going to create a parent for one of my squishies. This squishy has very volumized hair, and when I look at it, I was like, yep, she's got mom hair. Oh my gosh. Now, because I know we have a lot of moms that watch this, I have nothing against mom hair, but there is a very specific look to volumized mom hair. And I just felt like this unicorn really understood that. On the back right of this unicorn, I did add some star freckles, and that is because her daughter actually has some stars in the same spot. I added some highlights to her hair just because I did feel like it added something to the mom vibes. And of course, the face is the most important part to making this look like a mom. I made sure to give her some nice lipstick, as well as some eyes that have some purple eyeshadow on it. She's a very glamorous mom. My goal for the eyes was to make it look like the mom was looking lovingly down at her daughter. So the eyes are kind of angled downward. That's why you can see the eyelids so much. And then I added some mascara and some like stars to the eyes to make it look like she's like, ah, oh, I love my kid. I did make one mistake here. I added some blush and did not take the time to blend it properly, mostly because I was really tired and just gave up. But here is the before and after side by side of the unicorn. I've decided to name this unicorn Glammy. I've mixed together the word glamorous with mommy because she is the mother of Uni, our extremely mini unicorn. I feel like they both have the weirdest names, but I really like them. Uni and Glammy, what a strange combo. What is happening? And now Glammy is giving us a kiss goodbye. If you want to see more squishy makeovers, I have them linked in one of these two boxes. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next week for another video. Bye!